Hart, obviously you've only played a part in what's gone on so far this year, but this is the first come from behind win for this club. How exciting is it to be a part of that? Interesting, I wasn't aware of that, but it's, it's nice to go down early is disappointing, but we got on level terms very quickly and second half we came out strong and got some goals, some subs played a big impact in the game. So it was very all around good performance. Mm -hmm. uh, you got that, that comeback started a little bit. What did you see on that, that first play? Well, it's something we've actually looked at the training ground for the last couple mm -hmm. weeks. We've been doing in-swingers most of the year. I said, let's try, let's just try an out-swinger. Mm -hmm. And also, Lebo whipped in a perfect ball, and I was just a good uh, pick from Lagrasse as well, and I was lucky enough to get my head on it. Mm -hmm. You're a guy who has some, some deep roots in Philly, including playing for the Union a little bit. Um, played down with the steel a little bit, you said. Mm -hmm. um, how exciting is it to kind of come back to you know where you went to college, where you started your pro career, and, and, and have a big game? No, Philly is, is a special place for me. So like you said, it's my college. I came here in 2010. So basically my second home, I've been here eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. So it's always special to come home and to put in a performance like that, score a goal in front of my old college mates, my family, it was, it was special. Mm -hmm. You guys have kind of flipped back and forth between an even back line and an odd back line a little bit. Obviously you have the personnel to be able to do that, but um, what does it say about you guys to kind of have that versatility or is it something that's just kind of, you know, we're pros, we can go out and do it. Yeah, you took the words right out of our <laughs> mouth. We're professionals, we should yeah. be able to do three back, a four back, whatever whatever a night calls upon. So mm -hmm. today with the field, the conditions, it was a three back system. Mm -hmm. We adapted and we performed well. If we need to go four, we can obviously, we have the personnel to do it. So mm -hmm. you took the words out of our mouth. <laughs> <laughs> when you give up that, that first early goal, is that something that kind of makes you guys, especially in the back line, think like, oh no, you know, we got to, or, is it, or do you kind of just no, buckle down and say that? I wouldn't say yeah, that. It's, okay. it's disappointing because obviously yeah. we want to keep a clean sheet. We have, before this one, we had two in a row in the league, so we wanted to keep that streak going. So mm -hmm. disappointing that we let that one in. But at the same time, after that, we regrouped, we bounced back, and took care of business on the road. Mm -hmm. um, in the big picture, you guys are on a league unbeaten streak right now. What can you take forward from this game and kind of into the second half or, or kind of the back two-thirds of the schedule build upon and kind of maybe build towards the top of the table? Yeah, I mean, it's, as you said, it was the first time we've come from behind. So mm -hmm. now we know we can do that. Obviously, we don't want to get scored on. We want to go from the, from the beginning. But if we need to, we know we can. We're good enough. We have the players to, make a, to continue our run and to push for the top one or two spots in the table. Um, you guys gave up the, the opening early goal, but yeah. managed to, to keep a clean sheet the rest of the way and, and put up a big offensive performance. Uh, first come from behind win in, in club history, actually. How exciting is it for you as a guy who's been here for both years to be able to say, you know, we finally kind of mm. got that monkey off our back, or is it even something that you guys kind of were aware of or paid attention to before that, that it hadn't happened I mean, yet? Definitely at halftime, I mm -hmm. told everybody, this is the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want to say we never came back because I don't want to put that in their head. Mm -hmm. I just told them this is the big, biggest challenge yet. You know, we got to come back, focus mm -hmm. on the next chance. That's what I told them, you know. And Gary said, this is our day. You know, they never play on this field either. You know, but I think we started bright, even though we couldn't see the first goal. You know, well, I think we had a good moment before that. Maybe we could have scored before. But then we knew that if we keep doing it, working at it, you know, we have a good group of guys. These guys, they never cheat, they work hard, you know. We everybody got everybody's back. So then that, and that's it, we just keep pushing. Mm -hmm. And then we got second goal, and that's it. Um, one of the goals was very important for you because you scored it. <laughs> what did you see on that play? Obviously, the ball bounces high in the air. You got the left foot into it. What was going through your mind as, as that play was unfolding? So pretty much it, when you play the position, sometimes it's kind of awkward position, you know. You, you can come join late, mm -hmm. so they know see you coming, you know? So like, I, I told Taylor too, maybe when the cross is coming, try to join, you know, mm -hmm. as much as possible, but maybe we get something, you know? If we can get it, but we can still press or whatever, you know? And then I was, I was running and the ball came and just told myself, you know, just keep it down, keep it <laughs> down. That's all, that's, all I, that's all I focused on. Like, I just put it in the frame and just put on it, you know, try to put it on the ground. Mm -hmm. And they worked. Yeah. Gary mentioned, I don't know if this is accurate, but I'm going to take his word for it. That's the first goal you've scored since 2010, since the semifinals of when you guys won the <laughs> MLS Cup. No, it, he doesn't really pay attention. <laughs> so I did score against the FC Dallas in Open Cup in 2017. Okay. Yes, so yeah. 
So it's been two years now. You're still not a prolific sco goal scorer, though. Does it feel nice, especially as a guy who only scores occasionally, to get that yeah. one that knows, you know, for that's, sure. that's the big Definitely, one for me, you know? know. I mean, can you score? He's a defender, too. I'm a defender, too, you know. That's, that's big. I mean, shout out to Ro Papa. He did an amazing job. So was Cameron, so was Rios, all those guys. They work so hard, you know. They're a threat always that give us chance to, you know, because they worry about them, right? Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes me come in, or even Debo, or Michael, or Matt, if you have those guys can, you know, be around the box, it's it's dangerous, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you score, sometimes don't, but at least you're there. Something can happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned Rapapa first of that group. He obviously scored one himself. Um, he had uh, an attempted bicycle kick that led to Cam's goal. He also got in behind a couple times. Is that something that you guys thought you were going to see, or, or was it just him making individual plays in the moment? Well, we, we know how he wants to play. Mm -hmm. And then it was narrow field. We, everybody was talking about it. Just turn him, turn him, turn him, you know? We had a rope up, we had a Rios, two guys. So it's, it's not easy to defend. So that's why we, we tell them, especially beginning of each half, try to turn them. And as long as you're healthy, you know, you have energy. We told rope up, Rios, Ryan has to keep going behind, and it, which he worked. Oh, it's kind of difficult field conditions, kind of facility conditions a little bit. Did you guys feel like you had to kind of persevere through that adversity, or was it just kind of like we're, we're pros, we'll come out and deal with whatever conditions Yeah, I think we've up. been dealing with it many times, you know, in mm -hmm. the similar field and, you know, in the USL, you, you see that, you know, even our field, you know, baseball field, you know, it, it's a good grass, but it is not wide or long, you know. We, I think we know how to deal with it, and it's all about mental, I think, mental attitude and all that. Mm -hmm. What can you take going forward for the rest of, of this season, the last half or, or almost two-thirds still going to kind of say, okay, huge win on the road, come from behind win, let's capitalize on this momentum. What do you do to, to kind of make it count, I guess, going forward? I think uh, we have one of the best record in away games, you know, mm -hmm. and then we have another way. We got to keep doing that. But at the same time, you know, we got to get going at home. You know, mm -hmm. that's why it's at. You know, we do well, so well at away. So if you do take care of our business at home, it's going to – be good for everybody. Yeah, other than Open Cup games, which obviously weren't at First Tennessee Park, it's been a while since you guys have yep. been back at home. What is it going to be like um, in another you know, week and a half or, or however long it is to, to get back in front of the home fans and kind of be able to put on a show for them? Oh, yeah, they, we, we can't wait. You know, we play so many away games. I think we have only six or five away games left. That, that means we have that many our home games left. So, you know, we're going to be excited to go back there and, you know, play in front of those people. So uh, we can't wait.